Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Tuesday, August 1st, 2017. I want to tell you about the different equipment that I've been using to actually measure the performance of these batteries. I got some questions as to what kind of equipment is typical for these. I think typically is probably something like an Arben battery testing rig. I don't have one in my lab down the hall. One of my colleagues has an Arben, but if you don't have access to a multi-thousand dollar piece of equipment like that, you can get by with any number of measurement systems. Probably the cheapest way to get a charge discharge cycle done is using a data logging multimeter. These are available for like 50 bucks. I bought this one. And as long as you have a USB connection, you can collect data from this little instrument. Uh, that's not ideal for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first being that it runs on batteries, it won't run forever, and it doesn't really have a great way to hook up an AC adapter or external power source. So you're not going to be able to take long-term data conveniently using this equipment. The second problem is it doesn't have a way to simultaneously collect current data. So you're collecting voltage or current, but not both at the same time. That's probably something one could overcome if you know the exact resistance through which your current is traveling, you can use the voltage to calculate the current, and then you'll have an inferred current and a measured voltage, and you can calculate power from that. So it's, it's not a deal breaker, but it's not good either. The next step up is the vernier system pictured here. The vernier system has a USB data logger. They have several levels of that. You can also buy a little standalone data logger from vernier, but I bought the one that takes several different sensors simultaneously directly into USB. Into that you plug your current sensor and your voltage sensor and you can get decent charge discharge data through this. The good thing here is because you're measuring both current and voltage you can calculate power directly plus if you're charging instead of discharging you can collect the charging current and voltage directly instead of having to do crazy inferences and, and that yeah it would be very hard to do charging current and voltage if you only had access to one. So yeah, decent system, not terribly expensive. I think you can buy the current, the voltage, and the data logger all for a little under 500. So yeah, but not as bad as the next level up, which is the Wave Now, uh, runs a couple grand. Um, it's here at a university. I, I, we, have, we have one of these, and I'm able to to do more sophisticated measurements with this. So this will do controlled charge, controlled discharge, simultaneous voltage and current, and you can program it to do multiple cycles, which is how I took the, the 100 cycles of charge discharge data you can see here. So the Wave Now is a nice piece of equipment. Considering what it can do, it's quite well priced, but I think there's room for something in between and you know, I'm putting the question to you all, would you be interested in seeing how to construct a data logging current and voltage sensor using say an Arduino? Would, would that be amusing to you all? Uh, I think that having a battery is only half the battle, you also have to measure it if you're gonna do science. So maybe that's worth uh, shifting gears a little bit in this video log series and working on constructing a a data logging system to characterize whatever battery we all or I will construct next. If you like that kind of thing, uh, leave me a comment, leave me a suggestion, uh, tune in tomorrow. We update Monday through Friday. We talk about batteries and sensors and DIY projects here in the Allen Lab.